In this video, I'm going to use geometric reasoning to solve problem. Okay, so let's read the question. The two legs, a ladder has two legs, AB and AC. So these are, this is AB and this is AC. They are the two legs. Each leg is 1.8 meters long. So if this is 1.8 meters. You can say this is also 1.8, okay. Angle ABD is 113 degrees, 113 degrees. First question is pretty simple. Calculate the size of angle BAC. You want to find what is this angle. This is angle BAC. Okay, explaining reason. Explain the reason for each step of your answer. It's very important here to show the working. Okay, so let let us let me call this say angle say x. Okay, so I can say x plus y is how much? So x plus 113, not y, we don't have y, x plus 113 degrees is, these two are what type of angles? The angles on a straight line. So that's 180 degrees, so this is how you write the reason, angles on straight line. Okay, you can write the whole sentence. This is understood as angles on, ST stands for straight line. So you take away uh, what plus 113 is 180. So well, x is 180 minus 113. So first 180 minus 110 is 70 minus 3, which is 67 degrees. Okay, so this is x. Okay, so if this is x, this would also be x. Okay, so you can say in triangle, in okay try or you can say triangle triangle abc yeah triangle abc this is triangle is an isosceles triangle is an isosceles i hope i'm writing spelling is right triangle which implies these are called the base angles okay so you can say angle abc is equal to angle ACB. So we'll write angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. So what's the reason? This is the reason. You should know how to write the reason. Base angle, angles of isosceles triangle. Okay, this is in short. Okay, so if this is, if, let me delete this. So if this is 67, degrees this is also 67 degrees so what can we say in triangle abc a plus 67 plus 67 is 180 so let me finish it off here in triangle abc uh, a plus 67 plus 67 is 180 the reason is angles in sorry angles not triangles angles in a triangle angles in a triangle equals 180 degree this is how you write in short so a plus this is 60 plus 60 is 120 plus 14 which is 134 is equal to 180 so a is 180 minus 134 which is 180 uh, this is 180 minus 130, and then you take away 4. I'm trying to do without the calculator. This is 50 minus 4, so A is 46 degrees. Okay? So we can say that this angle, this angle is 46 degrees. Okay, that's done. Let me move on to the next question. Okay, express B in terms of c you want to express b in terms of c okay now we just saw that they, these two angles are equal because they're base angles so this angle okay so what type of angle is this angle so let me name this a d and this is say e can you understand a d e is equal to a b c a d e this is this angle is equal to angle 
A, B, C. Think of the reason. What type of angles are they? They are the corresponding angles. Okay, so I'll write in short corresponding angles parallel lines. This is how you write. Yeah, corresponding angles in parallel lines are equal. Same way, this angle and this angle are also equal. Okay, so yeah, I can say angle AED is equal to angle ACB. So the same reason, I'll write do. Do stands for the same reason. So what type of triangle are they now? These two triangles have become, so this is the green triangle. I call that the daughter triangle. This is the daughter triangle and the mother triangle. So this is the brown mother triangle. They have become similar. Now, this is, I hope you can see. So this two triangles are similar if the angles are equal. Okay, so I can say therefore, this is a notation of therefore, triangle ADE, my A looks tired, so triangle ADE is similar, this is a not. let me write the word, is similar, is similar to which triangle? ADE is the mother, the daughter triangle. And the mother triangle is triangle ABC. The same thing can be written in notation like this. You should know the notation. It's good to know short form. So this is similar to triangle ABC. Okay, so if two triangles are similar, the sides are proportional. So I want to write B. This is B in terms of C. So I'll write it here. So can I say AE corresponds, AE corresponds to AC. So this is the ratio of corresponding side is equal to uh, DE over BC. So this is what I mean. The ratio of corresponding sides are equal. So AE corresponds to AC and DE corresponds to BC. So the ratio are equal. Okay. So let me finish it off. Yes. Yeah, so can I say uh, AE? What is AE? AE is B over AC. What is AC? AB is 1.8. So AC is also 1.8. Is equal to DE, which is 0.475 over C. B, C, C. So I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to copy this much. Okay. So copy. And this is a cool thing that you can do on a smart board. I'll try to paste it. Yes. Awesome. So now this I'm going to simplify. So I can, uh, I want to write B in terms of C. So can I, if I multiply, I want to get rid of this 1.8, so I'm going to multiply this side by 1.8, so it also multiply this side by 1.8. So 1.8 and 1.8 gets cancelled, so B is 0.475 times 1.8 over C, which implies, which implies B is, so let me use a calculator, 0.4. 75 times 1.8 is 0 0.855 and 855 if you want to change that as a fraction you use this key fraction to decimal this is 17 out of 200 okay so this is uh, okay let me write first 0 0.855 over C okay that's fine okay, I don't want to make it crazy so this is fine so I have expressed B in terms of C. So to find B, what you do is you divide whatever value of you get 8.855 by C will give you B. Okay. So that's your B. Okay. That's fine. And finally, calculate the length of C. Okay. We know this. 
we want to find C. So what can we do? We can't use similar triangles because you don't have enough information. So I'm going to use trigonometry again. I'm going to split this triangle. I'm, drawing, I'm dropping a perpendicular on, so this is, say, let me name this point, say, M. So this is a right angle triangle, okay? And these are, these two sides are equal. So if these two sides are equal, uh, you can say, you can say triangle, let me write that, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle, which implies, uh, and let me write also that, and, and what is that I have drawn? AM, AM is perpendicular. This is the notation of the perpendicular. So AM is perpendicular to BC. This implies, I can say BC, BM, sorry. You can say BM, BM is equal to CM, and that is also half of BC. So I can say BM is equal to CM is equal to C over 2. So I can say this length is C over 2 or half of C over C, and this is also C over 2. So we know this angle. We already uh, shown in the first part how much was angle. This was 67. So you can use that information here. So we know that this angle is 67 degrees. So now I want you to focus only on this brown triangle. So now you have to look at this, this triangle. Okay, this is triangle A, which is a right triangle, AMC. Look at this triangle. So I can say triangle AMC, AMC is a right triangle or a right angle triangle. So you have got, you want to find C. Okay, so what do we know? We know that AC is 1.8. So you know the hypotenuse, you've got the hypotenuse, and you want to find the adjacent side. So we are using car here. Okay, so let me draw the car triangle. This is car. We're using this trig ratio of car. So I want to find the adjacent. So to multiply this, I can write A is cos of the angle, which is 67 times the hypotenuse. H stands for hypotenuse. So now what is A? The adjacent is C by 2, or half of C, is cos 67 times H, which is 1.8. So if you multiply 2 to both sides, if you multiply this side by 2, to also multiply this side by 2. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So C is cos 67 times 1.8 times 2 is 3.6. So finally, we are there, cos 67 times 3.6, which is 1.4 in one decimal point. So I can say C is 1.4 meters in one dp. Does that answer make sense? I think so because this is this is point zero point four seven five and uh, this does make sense. So it's about one point four meters. Hopefully these videos have been helpful. Keep working for your exam. Uh, best of luck.